Welcome to yet another Power BI video on how to create a measure to obtain customer wise previous sales using the match by DAX function, which has been newly introduced in the Power BI May 2023 update in conjunction with the offset DAX function. On your screens is the Power BI desktop with a sample table in the data pane containing these many columns. On the canvas, there's a table visual with three columns, customer ID, order ID and sales. Each customer places several orders and the order wise sales are listed here. We are going to create a measure that displays previous sales pertaining to each order of a customer. For that, we will be using the new match by function in conjunction with the offset function. Before we create the measure, let's sort the table visual in the ascending order of customer ID and within each customer ID in the ascending order of order ID. For that, when you hover the mouse over the customer ID column at the bottom left corner, you can see a triangle. Click on the triangle. The data is sorted in the ascending order of customer ID. To sort by order ID within each customer ID, press the shift key, hover the mouse over the order ID column, click on the triangle at the bottom left corner, and within each customer ID, the order ID is sorted in the ascending order. For creating the measure, let's right click on the sample table, click on new measure, name the measure previous sales. Normally, to find the previous sales, we will be using the date column. In this case, there's no date column. In the absence of a date column, we will be uniquely identifying each row using a combination of customer ID and the order ID. And the match by function helps us to do that. To go to the next line, let's press Shift Enter. We've already created a measure called total sales, which is the sum of the sales column. And we shall be using the total sales measure within this measure. We shall start with the calculate function, start brackets. The calculate function requires two arguments, expression and filter. The expression in this case will be the total sales measure that we've already created. Let's type square brackets, select total sales, type a comma. The second argument is filter. Shift enter to go to the next line. And for filtering the table, we shall be using the offset function. Offset. Offset retrieves a single row from a relation by moving a number of rows within the specified partition sorted by the specified order or on the axis specified. Delta indicates how many rows we should move forward or backward from the current row. In our case, we want to get the immediately preceding value and therefore we type minus one, type a comma, the relation is the table or the columns from which we want to fetch the rows. We can either use the whole sample table or select a few columns from this table. I'm going to select three columns. For that, let's use all selected DAX function. All selected, select customer ID, comma, order ID, comma, sales. Type a comma, order by. In order to find the previous row, we have to first order this table as per our requirement. So let's click on order by. We are going to order by customer ID first in the ascending order and within each customer ID, order by order ID in the ascending order. So let's select customer ID, type a comma. The order by direction is ascending comma. The second order by expression is order ID, type a comma. The order by direction is ascending, close brackets. The next argument is blanks. If we come across a blank, how they should be dealt with. I'm going to choose the default option, which is keep, comma. The next argument is partition by. Let's click on partition by. We are going to partition by customer ID because we want the previous sales relating to each customer. Type a comma, match by the newly introduced DAX function, which will help us uniquely identify each row in the table. Click on match by. We shall use the customer ID, comma, the order ID, close brackets. That completes the offset function. So let's close the offset function and close the calculate function. Let's press enter and you can see the new measure here. We shall add this to the table visual. For that, select the visual and check the previous sales measure. The previous sales measure is a blank in the first row for the first customer because this is the first ever order placed by the customer. 
If we look at the second row, the previous sales has been correctly captured and displayed here. For the third row, the previous sales is 29.5, which again is displayed here and so on. This is the last row for this customer and the previous value has been captured correctly. Then we move to the second customer. Again, this is the first ever transaction and therefore the previous sales is empty. So in the absence of a date column, if we can uniquely identify each row, we can use the match by function in conjunction with the offset function to find the previous sales corresponding to each row. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content, including 35 exclusive videos that would help with the preparation for Power BI PL300 certification exam. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall be notified as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We are grateful to our subscribers and viewers for their continued support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.